Hey guys, Steven here, and we are 12 weeks out of Arnold Classic Ohio, and this is what Regan Grimes looks like right now. He is over 280 pounds, and if everything goes well, if he's actually put on the list that will come out tomorrow, he will be competing in 12 weeks. And I'm pretty sure he will be on that list. The thing is, uh, the Arnold Classic is invitational, they invite people, and when they invite a bodybuilder, they pay for everything, for the flight over there, for the hotel, everything. But in order to get that in white, you need to apply first. So Regan did that. He did apply for the Arnold Classic, and uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, they will definitely invite him. Why they wouldn't? I mean, this guy has huge following. He has won multiple pro shows, and he has a legitimate chance of actually cracking the top three, or maybe even, I don't know, it sounds crazy, but like, let's say maybe even winning the Arnold Classic. I mean, it doesn't look like it, but who would tell that uh, Jay Cutler would go from like 14th to, to second place in one year in 2001? And now when I think about it, Regan Grimes and Jay Cutler before he cracked the top two had kind of a similar issue, let's call it that. They were both big guys, but they lacked detail, the granity, you know, the, 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 the grainy look, the, the conditioning, the maturity. So Regan now with Milos, he kind of fixed that a little bit. And Milos will definitely make him rounder and bigger and fuller uh, in these 12 weeks. And then he will definitely get him shredded and fill him up completely. He will be full-blown. I mean, the transformation these two guys made in a week or two weeks was ridiculous. Imagine what's going to happen in five months of working together. So I'm expecting Regan to actually bring crazy crazy package, his best ever, absolutely, and uh, is it gonna be enough for him to crack the top three? Really, it depends on who else shows up, but as for now, we know that some heavy hitters will not be competing, like Big Ramy, definitely not doing it, then you also have Nick Walker not doing it, Ian Valier not doing it, Brandon Curry already won the Arnold Classic, so he doesn't really need to win it again, and he wants that Mr. Olympia back, so I don't really see him doing the Arnold this year, uh, Hardy might jump in if he has no issues with the visa, and as far as the others, like, anybody out of, like, top six can uh, lose against Regan, you know, so we'll see what's gonna happen, but as for now, we know that Regan Rhymes applied for the Arnold Classic, he is most likely doing it, and right now he looks great, I mean, based on this photo, let's analyze it a little, uh, he looks really good for 280, over 280, and this is a morning weight, so here, maybe after the after the workout, uh, carved up and uh, hydrated, he's maybe like 290, which is ridiculous, but yeah, he's a taller guy, but still, it's a lot of weight, and I hope most of it will stay, hopefully he will be big on stage too, uh, I hope his legs will come up, I mean, they look a little bit bigger, uh, this, was the, this was after the leg day, so they are pumped, you don't really see a lot of details, but you can see that they are full and round, and that's something that Regan lacks. So with Milos doing all those giant sets, killing himself absolutely and with insulin and everything, I'm pretty sure Regan will become a much bigger, fuller, rounder and more shredded version of himself and I think it will be enough for him to have a breakthrough year in 2022. Cracking the top three might happen, but winning against Brett Wilkin... Hmm, I don't know about that, because this is Brett Wilkin right now, and he says that he added like 7 or 8 pounds of muscle since that Chicago Pro, and that Chicago Pro was a crazy addition of Brett, where he was second after Hunter, it was a very close second, and Hunter was fourth at the Mr. Olympia, so I don't think a lot of people are actually aware how good of a bodybuilder Brett Wilkin is, and how good will, will he actually be at the Arnold. If everything goes well, if his prep uh, runs smoothly, if they nail it again with conditioning and fullness and everything, if he actually progresses that much, as he says, 7 pounds heavier, that's gonna be a hard package to stop, and like, uh, on, I mean, yeah, he has some things to work on, like, for example, he says himself he needs to work on the, the hamstring thickness from behind and also leg thickness from the from the side, his arms also could be bigger, especially, I'm thinking the, the, the bicep peaks, but overall, like, he's a really complete, like, those are not big, uh, big, big flaws, like, they're very tiny, really, that's like the fine polishment, he's pretty much there, as far as reaching his maximum potential, and his maximum potential, that would be, that can, that can be dangerous, guys, I'm actually betting on this guy actually winning the Yano Classic this year, I think he has the best chances, honestly. Not Regan, nobody else. 
as for now from all the guys that you know are going to be competing that actually want to do the Arnold tomorrow we'll find out who is on the list but right now I, I, I actually have Brett Wilkin winning that Arnold Classic I think he's that good and I think he will be even better than he was last year actually this year at the Chicago and who can stop that really not many people not many people anyways this is him right here 12 weeks out Gloats are still separated, so he's in a good spot. He can uh, he can lean out a little bit, and then he can probably grow into the show. So this is a good point for him. Uh, he's really devoted, and he's really driven after cracking the top two at Chicago. I'm sure he's motivated as hell, and he has a good chance of winning the Arnold. He knows that the prize money is insane. It's $200,000, so I'm sure he will give it everything, and uh, I think he will actually win that show. Whatever you guys think, tell me in the comment section down below. But hey, here's another guy who, in my opinion, should do the Arnold Classic, and I think he will. So he posted this story, it's a back double bicep of his. Um, it doesn't really flow that well, I mean, his waist looks really thick, his legs look a little bit small for his upper body. But uh, is his back massive? And that was the problem before. It is hella massive. I think he, he improved that back. So he posted this photo looking absolutely massive with a caption. Uh, this next four months is everything hashtag 2022 so four months equals 16 17 weeks not 12 weeks so is he doing the arnold well based on this i don't know you couldn't you can't be sure but uh, maybe he's thinking uh, you know 12 weeks to prep for the arnold and then another five for a rebound, <laughs> maybe, but we'll see tomorrow, I mean, I'm guessing here, but in about 24 hours, we will know, is he on a list or not, did he apply or not, he didn't, uh, he didn't say anything, but it would make a lot of sense, I mean, he didn't compete since the uh, New York Pro, so it's been a while, and uh, he has gotten huge, and I think he needs at least a mini cut, if not a competition prep, I think his body fat got up to a certain level where he needs to trim it down a little and uh, then he will keep growing so a uh, show prep now and then a rebound I think that would be ideal for him and the Arnold Classic such opportunity he should definitely do it he should definitely apply for it I'm really curious to see did he or did he not well since we are looking at the backs let's take a look at the back of Brandon Hendrickson the man's physique Mr. Olympia look at this Christmas tree what is this i mean look at how crisp this guy is and uh, did he compete recently i don't know i think the last show he did was uh, mr olympia so why is he shredded like this right now i don't know it doesn't really make any sense but he's absolutely shredded peeled dry this looks ridiculous and uh, lately I and mean, you can see you can see Dexter jackson as well he's admiring that bag for sure that conditioning at least maybe not the mass but the conditioning for sure the details and everything the flow the small waist it just looks phenomenal and it would be a great addition to classic physique yeah i know he's the mr olympia he probably loves man's physique i don't know i mean being the champion it doesn't you cannot become the mr olympia in, in any category if you don't like the category so i'm sure he loves it but lately he has been posing a lot like a bodybuilder so take a look at this after these photos came out he posted his posing video and what he shows first he's showing his legs is he showing legs in man's physique hell no so why is he showing them here because he wants to switch to classic physique i hope so at least just look at his front double by look at the bicep peaks the vacuum he looks so round so full so symmetrical and i think the legs are pretty much i mean they aren't exactly big enough i mean they are big enough they're proportionate but uh, compared to the other classic physique guys like Chris Bumstead, like Terence Ruffin, he, he needs bigger legs. So he needs to bring up the legs a little bit, and that's about it. I mean, look at the upper body, it's pretty much done. He is big upstairs for sure. So I think this guy would be a great addition to classic physique. I think he should try it at least. I mean, why the hell not? Do a, a show, you know, not Mr. Olympia, but a, a show before Mr. Olympia, just to see how he fares. I don't think it would definitely I don't think it would hurt his stock. I mean losing, winning, whatever. I don't think he can um, lose anything from from doing that. So I think he should definitely try out but only if he likes it, if he enjoys it. Though he is posing here like a bodybuilder. Why is he posing like a bodybuilder if he doesn't want to compete as a bodybuilder in classic physique? I, I don't get it. I'm pretty sure he wants it. Will he do it? I don't know. He didn't announce anything yet, but I'm I'm guessing eventually 
uh, he will. He actually said that in the comment section uh, once he will do it eventually. When? I'm not sure. Maybe not next year, but eventually, sure. And I hope it's gonna happen as soon as possible. Who would you guys prefer to see switching to classic physique? Uh, man's physique, Mr. Olympia, Brandon Hendrickson, or or a top 10 Olympian in open bodybuilding, Patrick Moore. Okay, maybe not top 10. He was top 10 in 2019 when the lineup wasn't exactly deep. Uh, last year and this year, he didn't do that well. So if you say top 5 is a first tier and top 10 is a second tier, he would be like a third tier a top pro. He's able to win shows. So, I mean, this guy... Uh, even though Brandon is uh, Brandon Hendrickson is a Mr. Olympia man's physique, me personally, I would love more to see an open bodybuilder, even though he's a third-tier bodybuilder, uh, actually switch to, to classic physique in this case. Because Patrick, I mean, yeah, he's uh, he's not really that great of a bodybuilder, but he has a interesting physique, like he has a classic physique in open bodybuilding uh, that sets bodybuilders apart from the others when they have classic lines, like Patrick does. Now, he posted his photo, and he says, uh, 2022, uh, about to even the playing field on y'all. Uh, so, <laughs> I don't know what his plans are exactly. Is he gonna do the Arnold? Maybe. We will find out tomorrow. Or is he gonna try to actually downsize and switch to Classic? Uh, how well would he do? We talked about that before. I don't think he would do that well. But best case scenario, I can see him cracking like the top three, top five. I don't know. But uh, right here in this photo, I don't know if this is recent, I mean, he didn't really say that it is an uh, old photo, he didn't say it is recent, but I don't think he would be this shredded at this point for no reason. Maybe, maybe he kept a, a low body fat percent for some reason, but maybe he's trying to downsize, and that's why he isn't gaining weight, so he has a fast metabolism and he's losing fat, I don't know. Uh, this could be recent, but it's probably not. What his plans are, what did he mean by uh, this caption, 2022, about to even the playing field? You guys tell me. What do you believe is a hidden message behind these words? Or is he actually open and I'm not getting what he's saying? Uh, you tell me, guys, what do you think? But uh, would I love to see him compete at the Arnold or switching to classic physique and doing the Arnold in classic physique? Uh, yeah, to both. I mean, I would love to see him on stage as soon as possible. And yeah, the most interesting would be if he actually switched to classic physique. And I'm pretty sure it would be interesting to all of you guys. Let's hope for that to happen. Sometime, maybe soon, maybe at the Arnold. Alright, and for the end we have a physique update of, uh, of the Shadow. No more, I mean, uh, Dorian Yates, he's not the Shadow anymore. He's completely different these days. As you can see, he's uh, shirtless on a beach somewhere drinking a smoothie, he probably smoked a joint before this, and uh, he is living it, I mean, he's living a good life. He is not drenching through the snow to go to a basement to work out wearing all black clothes, not showing up anywhere and just competing in bodybuilding and doing all the drugs and everything that it takes. No, that's not Dorian Yates anymore, he's a completely reinvented person now. Uh, based on this video, you can see what his physique looks like, you can see a lot. And look at the abs, I mean, look at the, the six-pack, look at that shoulder, that's pretty massive shoulder, and the bicep looks uh, decent, the chest still has some muscle, uh, he's still very active, he's not lifting weights though, but he's doing yoga, cycling, uh, hiking, uh, he's still being very, very active, I think that's just his spirit, I mean, he's, uh, he's an athlete in his heart, but he found a way, you know, he managed to reinvent himself to stop actually bodybuilding, uh, when it actually hurts him, and now he's doing something more beneficial for his health, for his overall outlook, for his uh, quality of life. And he looks great. He looks really good. I mean, the body fat percent is really low, so he's probably uh, very active and he's on a clean diet. Also, he has a fast metabolism, you know, as a bodybuilder, so it's not easy to get fat uh, for, a guy, uh, for, for a guy like him, like a genetic monster like Dorian. But really, who cares? He's retired. He retired a long, long time ago, uh, more than 20, 23, 24 years ago. So who cares? But it's fun to see these guys 24 years after they retire, what they look like if they kept some muscle. And Dorian most certainly did. And he didn't get fat either. So guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And for more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much guys for watching. All the best and bye-bye.